So my jurisdiction is in Toronto. So Toronto covers, you can go to the Toronto office, you can go to the Brampton office. So I'm going to the Brampton office right now. So in order to surrender your Indian passport, you first need to acquire the Canadian passport. So once you have it, then the next step is to surrender your passports. And after you surrender your passport, you'll get a surrender certificate. Using that certificate, you can apply for OCI. In today's video, we'll only talk about the process to submit your Indian passport. So, after coming to BLS in Brampton, uh, I had to go to 40 Gilligan Drive. But they told me in order to surrender your passport, you have to go to 60 Gilligan Drive. So you guys go to 60 Gilligan Drive. It's on the fourth floor. So when you enter 60 Gilligan Drive, right at the door is a security guard. He'll ask you what you're here for. So you tell him that you're here to surrender your passport. He'll ask you how many number of applications you tell him. And then he'll give you a token number. And on that token number, he'll write the number of applications that you have. So you go to the fourth floor. That's where the BLS office is located. BLS does get a fairly bad name. And many a times, my experience have also not been kind. But a huge shout out for today. Today's experience was phenomenal. When I entered, there was hardly any lineup. Everything was well organized. People were calling out token number. Everyone was working in a very efficient manner. So a big kudos to BLS. So once you go there, you have your documents. You can submit those documents so make sure you're calling the originals as well which are your indian passport which you'll need to surrender your canadian passport your canadian citizenship certificate and a proof of address if you don't have the photo taken these people are actually taking your photo as well so you don't have to worry about that if you're a seat guy like myself make sure you're wearing a turban i had already pasted my photo earlier so i didn't have a problem so it's a fairly easy process i was in and out in 10 minutes maybe i got lucky at the end of it they give you a receipt uh, the total expenditure for me was 166 dollars they gave me a receipt with my tracking number take the documents they ask you for your address which you've written in the form as well is this the address where you want to receive your surrender certificate and your cancelled passport so you just acknowledge that uh, write your address in a form provided by them and then they'll charge you i was a single applicant so the charges for me for 166 dollars then they'll give you a tracking number in which you can track your cancel passport and the surrender certificate which will come to your house in about a week's time 